Google Tag Manager works best when it's deployed alongside a data layer. It ensures flexibility, portability, and ease of implementation. Before I go and talk about how data layer is used along with Google Tag Manager, let's take a look and see what a data layer is. Here you're looking at how Google Tag Manager works without a data layer. So you've got your user interface, website, or app, whatever that is, and it has data all over the place. If your applications such as Google Tag Manager, Adobe, and any other analytics platforms have to use this data, then they have to go grab it from the page and you have to write a code to get this data picked up from the page and pass it to your application. This is where a data layer really helps in. Data layer is a data structure that contains all the data and information that you want to pass from your website to other application and tools as they need it. So this is how it looks. All your data is contained within a data layer and it can be referenced from different places within your app or a website. And then whatever data third-party applications such as Google Tag Manager, Adobe Analytics, or any other need to use it, they'll just go and pick it up from data layer. So you are basically separating user interface from the data layer and then data layer stays the same. You can change your interface, you can change these tools, and it's easily transferable. So it increases the flexibility that you have with your application. Here is a simple example of how a data layer looks like. Data layer is simply JavaScript object that contains other objects that has key value pairs. This will become clear as we go through this lecture. I'll show you an example of data layer on analytics hire. So if you go to analytics hire and go over to search jobs, you have a bunch of jobs listed here. Let's go ahead and click on one of those. And you can see here the company name is Humana, location is Chicago, and job type is FT, which means full time. Go ahead and do view source on this page. And here is a data layer that I have created for this page. Basically what this tells us, what's the page category? So I have given a variable called page category, which includes the name of the page and the listing location where I've given the name Chicago. That's the page we are currently viewing and job type is full time. If we go back, and look at another page and do a view source. You'll see now it's the same page, job detail. Location is now Boston, and this is also a full-time job. As a marketer, you won't be creating these data layers. Data layers are implemented by your developers. It makes their job easy. But by knowing the structure of a data layer, you will be able to use them in Google Tag Manager to reference these. For example, I want to create event tracking in Google Analytics, and I want to see which locations and types of jobs are being viewed, I can use event tracking in Google Analytics. So all I will have to do is use my Google Tag Manager to pull this value and pass on to Google Analytics. So next, we'll see that in action on how to do it. Now you got the concept of data layer clear, so we can start to figure out how to use that in Google Tag Manager. One thing I also want to show you, if you want to see a data layers that are available on your web pages, you can go to your website and make sure you are in Chrome browser and then do developer tools. And once you're in this interface, you can start to type in data layer and you can see there are a bunch of data layers here. Click on it and you've got the data layer I was showing you. Job type, listing location, and page category. You can do similar stuff within your Google Tag Manager interface. Now let's look at how this data layer looks like from Google Tag Manager. So go ahead and load your Google Tag Manager and put it in preview mode. So this is Analytics Hire, and I'm gonna put it in preview mode. So now go ahead and load Analytics Hire. So you'll see Analytics Hire in a preview mode. Go ahead and click on Data Layer. And here's the current data layer on the page. You can see page category, listing location is all empty. If you do a view source, you can see my data layer is empty. If I go ahead and browse over to search jobs and find a job, click on data layer, and you can see now the data layer is populated. So which means our data layer is working and is available to Google Tag Manager for us to start using it. Now we'll look at how to use this data layer in Google Tag Manager and pass it onto a tag. So first thing we're going to do is capture those data layer variables into the variables in Google Tag Manager. So go ahead and click on variable. What we are going to use is 
a user defined variable so go ahead and click on new click on next and we are going to use a data layer variable so click on it and here you have to give a name for a data layer variable let's head over and see what our variables are called page category listing location and job type we can grab all of these into google tag manager for now i am going to use one of these and call it listing location type in listing location make sure it's using the same name that you're using it's case sensitive so after you do that give it a name so we're going to call it listing location and go ahead and save it so now you got the variable that has listing location so let's go ahead and create another variable and this time we are going to use the job type so call it job type again it's a data layer variable and it's called job type let's make sure now it's capital J so job type it's case sensitive go ahead and save it now you got two variables from data layer let's go ahead and create a tag and pass it over to Google Analytics let's go ahead and click on new tag and call it data layer event tag click to create a new tag it's universal analytics and we are going to track it as an event our category is going to be data layer action is listing location label is job type I'm just showing you how do you can use data layer variables in your tracking so it doesn't matter what I'm choosing here I just want to show you how it works now you're set all you have to do is make sure it's not an interaction head so go ahead and click true it's in a non-interaction head and select your GA tracking ID so with that go ahead and save it and go ahead and click save tag now I want to assign a trigger to this tag so click on it again and let's put a triggering criteria here and I want it to be fired on all pages go ahead and save it and now you're all done close this window and let's reload the preview mode go back to your site and then reload it now you can see what tags got fired here data layer event tag got fired click on it and you can see action was San Francisco category was data layer and label was FT these are the things that we are passing to Google Analytics just to verify you can go to Google Analytics so in real time you can go to events and you can see there is a data layer event category event action is San Francisco click on it and you can see event action and event label so you just pass the information from data layer over to a tag using Google Tag Manager now you can pass this information to whichever tag you want but I just showed you how you can pass this to Google Analytics this is how you can start to pull information from data layer into any tags once everything is verified go ahead and submit it give a name and description and go ahead and publish it so that's it you just now published a tag that pulls the information from data layer and passes on to Google Analytics as events